Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Introduction to Single Board Heater System. In this tutorial, we will see the salient features of SBHS, block diagram explanation of SBHS. The Single Board Heater System is abbreviated as SBHS. It is a microcontroller based lab in a box temperature control setup. The setup has been designed to cater to the needs of undergraduate and postgraduate control courses. It revolves around the concepts of electronics, serial port communication, microcontroller programming, data acquisition interface, control theory. These concepts serve as the basic foundation for its development. Next, we shall talk about the salient features of SBHS. SBHS is a 3000 rupee device with its hardware design and codes released as open source. However, please note that the actual price during purchase may vary. An open source software is used to interface SBHS. More details can be sought from sbhs.os-hardware.in. Moreover, it has a small time constant of around 1 minute. Hence, one can do realistic experiment in 10 minutes. This setup is also available for remote access under Virtual Labs project. One can access it remotely and get a feel for it. Later, the user can buy it or assemble it and set it up as a lab at a college or at home. Figure shows the picture of single board heater system. It has a SMPS to generate 12 volt regulated DC power supply. A metal blade and a heater coil is situated below this metal support. A computer fan, a display, USB and RS-232 ports. We would now see the block diagram of SBHS. The figure shows the block diagram of SBHS. It consists of power supply, 8-bit microcontroller, display, fan, heater assembly, temperature sensor, instrumentation amplifier and associated circuitry, ISP, serial and USB ports. We would now see a brief explanation of the various blocks in SBHS. First, we will see the power supply. The power supply is basically a 12 volt 400 watt SMPS. This 12 volt supply is used directly, but most of the circuitry requires 5 volt supply. Hence, separate voltage regulators are used wherever necessary. Also, to avoid any ambiguous temperature readings, Due to power supply fluctuations, the voltage regulators for systems and sensors are kept separate. Next is microcontroller. An 8-bit at mega 16 microcontroller is used. Microcontrollers play a very important role. It controls every single hardware present on the SBHS directly or indirectly. It executes various tasks like setting up communication between computer and SBHS. Controlling the amount of current passing through the heater coil. Controlling fan speed. Reading the temperature value. Displaying parameter values and various other necessary operations. Next comes the heater and fan. The heater assembly consists of a metal plate placed about 3.5 mm away from a nichrome wire coil. When current passes through the coil, the coil gets heated. This heat is transferred to the metal plate through convection, increasing its temperature. The fan used is a small regular computer fan. It is used for cooling the heated metal plate. Due to some tried and tested reasons, it is placed below the heater. Next comes the driver block. This is nothing but a device which varies the amount of power delivered to the fan and heater. MOSFETs are used for the same. MOSFETs are operated as per the commands given by the microcontroller. These MOSFETs are actually switched at some PWM frequency. Now we will talk about temperature sensor. AD590 is a temperature sensor used for sensing the temperature of the heated plate. The output of this sensor is in microampere per Kelvin. The operating temperature ranges from minus 55 to 150 degrees Celsius. 
Moreover, it does not require any further process of linearization. Next, we will see the instrumentation amplifier. Instrumentation amplifier is used for signal conditioning of the signal generated by AD590. It also provides good input impedance for the temperature sensor. Hence, the signal generated by the sensor is not attenuated during signal conditioning. The display and indicators block. Display constitutes of a 16 by 2 LCD display. This means that the display is capable of displaying two lines of 16 characters each. No separate controller is required since it has its own inbuilt controller. It is used for displaying various parameters like temperature, fan, heater and machine ID. It is operated in 4-bit mode. The indicators include various onboard LEDs. Next we have serial voltage level converter block. It is used for conversion of signals from serial to TTL and vice versa. Next we have USB to serial converter block. It is used for conversion of signals from USB to serial and vice versa. Next we have USB and RS232 blocks. It is used to connect the USB and RS232 cable. Last we have ISP block. ISP stands for in-system programming. It is actually a 10 pin mail connector. Through this we can program the microcontroller with the help of proper programming device. This brings us to the end of this spoken tutorial on introduction to single board heater system. Let us summarize. In this spoken tutorial we saw the CLM features and block diagram explanation of SBHs. The various blocks briefly explained include power supply, microcontroller, heater and fan, driver, temperature sensor, instrumentation amplifier, display, USB and RS232 ports, ISP. Watch the tutorial available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at http colon slash slash spoken iphone tutorial dot org slash ict iphone intro this is rupa krokade from iit bombay signing off